General Motors, led by Mary Barra, has a lofty ambition to unseat the king of UVS in the next few years. While many people may think Barra is punching above her weight, GM has a secret weapon that shocks the entire auto industry, the new Altium battery. What does this brand new battery offer? How is GM banking on it to rise in the ranks of EV makers? If you want to rule the world of EVS, your battery game must be strong. This is because there is a Goliath in the room that you must conquer, Tesla. Apart from being so good at designing EVS, the company is also known for breakthroughs in EV battery. However, Mary Bear has thrown down the challenge that General Motors would unseat Tesla at the top of the EV industry. Barra is banking on a company's new EV battery known as Altium. However, a GM vying for the EV top spot is a very different GM from the one car owners used to know. Founded in 1908, GM sells millions of cars yearly, with most of them having internal combustion engines. Last year alone, the Detroit-based company produced 6.3 million vehicles. Its peak in recent times was in 2016 when it produced at more than 10 million cars. Interestingly, in its decades of existence, GM has controlled more than 40 brands, including Buick, the longest-lived brand Cadillac Chevrolet, GMC, and many other brands have come and gone. And the old-timers here can remember Bedford, Oldsmobile, and many more. That is not to say GM never tried its hands at electric cars until recently, more than 25 years ago. Even before the world knew about Tesla, GM inaugurated the modern electric car even. All the two-seater EV ended as a disaster and an embarrassing footnote in the company's history. Knowledge from the Evone program has influenced nearly every startup and automaker's development of electric vehicles. The EV was a pioneer in many ways, but one of the things that doomed the Evone was the atrocious range, which was due to the lead acid battery. The Evone came with 26 of them and weighed quite a lot, which forced GM to use aluminum and composites for the body. If you drove the car with intensity, you may get about 50 miles on a single charge. However, with GM planning to make lots of electric vehicles, it needed to find the winning formula for the EV battery, which it has just done with the Ultium battery. GM is committed to making 30 new global electric vehicles by 2025. To achieve this feat, the company has positioned itself to design engineer, and produce EVS for every style and price point. To do so, it is rapidly building up its competitive advantage in batteries, software, vehicle integration, manufacturing, and customer experience. By 2025, GM will spend a whopping $35 billion, which is 75% more than the figure it announced before. The goal is to produce more than 1 million electric vehicles per year by 2025. These will include models like the Silverado EV truck, the Cadillac Lyric the Hummer EV brought back from the dead electric vans under the Bright Drop brand and many more. The secret source to all these EVS is the new Altium battery which GM has been working on for years and has just revealed why is the LTM battery so special. The first selling point is the cost per kilowatt hour GM was able to bring it down to about $100 per kilowatt hour at the battery pack level. Tesla has not been able to achieve this even with its new battery. This price point is crucial because the battery determines the price of an EV. A $100 per kilowatt hour EVS can start to be priced at about the same as a gas car. Interesting enough, the cost of the new Altium battery is about 10 times less than the battery put in the vault in 2010 compared to more recent EVS. The LTM battery pack costs about 40% less than those in the Chevrolet Bolt EV, and it gets better going forward because GM promises that second-generation Ultra Packs will cost nearly 60% less than the batteries used today. GM also improved the cell design of the LTM battery to increase the range. Tesla did something similar with its own 4680 battery. Instead of cylindrical cells used by Tesla, GM is using pouch-style cells. These cells are quite large, measuring 23 by 4 by 0 0.4 inches. These pair cells package energy more densely than cylinders can. They weigh about 3 pounds each and hold 0 0.37 kilowatt hours of energy. They can be arranged vertically or horizontally to suit space requirements and are typically bundled into 24 cell modules. The arrangement is such that the Ultium battery is easier to recycle and reuse. It also makes it easier for engineers to optimize the vehicle layout in terms of chemistry. 
The LTM battery uses nickel manganese cobalt aluminum to cut cobalt used by 70% relative to the bolt EV and the aluminum also strengthens the electrodes and helps prevent lithium spike formation during fast charging, which can cause problems by short-circuiting a battery. This means the battery has a longer useful life compared to other batteries, so you don't even have to worry about whether frequently charging with rapid DC charges would destroy your battery. There's another feature of the Altium design that allows it to use far less wiring in the battery pack. In fact, it uses 80% less wiring than the battery pack and the Bolt. This feature is wireless battery management. GM will be the first to monitor battery cells wirelessly using a Bluetooth-like 2.4 GHz.